Hey guys it's K Preview. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll explain about Korean Drama Queen of Tears Episode 3. Let's start. Episode 3 begins with a flashback, where Hyunwo and Hyun newly began dating and they were visiting the former's hometown. He showed her his orchard and took her to his mother's store. He gave her an ice cream and she later revealed that she never ate any ice cream because her mother didn't allow her to. Mistaking it as her being dirt poor, he insisted that he would do everything in his power to give her all the experiences she never had in life. Flabbergasted at the sudden gesture, she tried to explain her real situation but he insisted that even if he goes into debt or something major happens, he would always be by her side. We then come back to the present time and continue from the last episode. Hyun remains shocked in place while Hyunwoo immediately tends to her. Moon Sung comes to check on her but Hyunwoo immediately takes her away from him, leaving the former to look at them with a dark gaze. As the couple walk back, Hyun hurts herself and Hyunwoo ends up carrying her to their room. As they come back to their room, her brother informs their mother about Hyun's injury, leaving her to rush to her daughter in the next second. The family gather around her as her father realizes that Hyunwoo is actually an experienced shooter. When her mother tries to dismiss it, Hayen speaks up about him being one of the best shooters in the Marines, leaving her father to see his son-in-law in a new light. He begins treating Hyunwoo really well by giving him food and taking note of his likes and dislikes. Hyunwoo goes around to check the area and finds that the barricade was pried open by someone who lured the injured wild boar to the forest. The chairman decides to go through the CCTV footage himself, leaving Grace Go, Kim Juryoung, feeling like she is trapped since she is the one who constructed the incident. She gives him the tapes but only one person shows up on the tape, the estranged son of the family. It seems like she found a way to get herself out of the situation, in the third year of their marriage, Hyun ends up feeling her heart beating again for Hyun Woo. She thought something was wrong because she was terminally ill, however, the doctor said, it seems like a common change of mind of a person who was about to die, drawing an incredulous look from Hong Hyun. She also begins feeling empathy towards others, especially her employees, leaving her assistants surprised as well. Hyunwoo's sister and brother in law go to meet Hyun in order to stop her from accepting the divorce. Not knowing that he never revealed his plans with her, they try to go in circles to make her understand that the marriage should work, but the divorce never comes up. After she leaves, the sister texts her about it and sends it to her. When Hyunwoo gets to know about it, he immediately calls his sister to explain the situation but it is too late for them. He finds himself in a pickle and tries to find a way out, on the other hand, we get an insight into Yoon Noon Sung and his uncomfortable personality. He tries to buy off the dog belonging to the caretaker but they come back to take the dog back. Irritated at the exchange, he tries to kill the dog but Hyunwoo saves the dog and the family. The caretaker couple talk about a similar incident that occurred many years ago with a young orphan boy who looks suspiciously like Eun Sung. That child had killed a dog and instead of apologizing, he questioned why he couldn't kill the dog. It becomes clear that Eun Sung is trying to VY for Hae In's attention with his connections and power but it seems as though he may be hiding something sinister and dark within him. He calls Hae In for a dinner meeting with Mr. Herman but the latter doesn't show up leaving the two to catch up and talk about business. He tries to sow seeds of doubt in her head regarding her married life but she dismisses them quickly. Eun Sung drops a drunk Hae In back home, making Hyun Woo feel extremely uncomfortable and agitated at Eun Sung's dismissive behavior. Hyun Woo is quick to send him away, leaving Eun Sung looking angrily at the couple as they walk away. Hae In walks drunkenly as Hyun Woo tries to take her phone from her to delete the text messages. Hayen declares that she will do all the things that she wasn't able to do for so many years and will not hold herself back because she only has three months to do it all. Seeing her phone in her hand, Hyunwoo gets to her quickly and throws it away. She gets shocked at the behavior but is quick to pull him in. She keeps questioning herself but ends up doing something that shocks both the viewers and Hyunwoo, she kisses him. Subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.